Hello, viewers. Hello, viewers. Yeah, welcome again to Medical Tips on Ogungo TV. My name is Dr. Moneyi. Well, today I want to talk about coronavirus. Coronavirus. This coronavirus just came suddenly uh, in 2019, uh, around November, and now it's as popular as anything. Everybody knows about coronavirus. Even a two-year-old child can tell you about coronavirus. There have been virals in the past. Uh, coronavirus is more popular than any virus. Uh, there is uh, HIV virus. There's human immunodeficiency virus. There is hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, and like that. There's cytomegalovirus. There's Epstein-Barr virus. We have a lot of virus, a lot of virus, but um, coronavirus seems to have taken the lead. It's funny. And honestly, this is not the first time coronavirus is coming up. In the year 2002, there was coronavirus in China. And then, of course, that time, they just noticed that some people were falling sick and some people were dying. And uh, the sickness was nothing but a cough and uh, difficulty in breathing. So there was um, acute respiratory distress. So they called it severe acute respiratory syndrome caused by coronavirus. Before that, coronavirus had been existing, but uh, um, it was believed that it only exists in the animal, especially bats. Not until in 2002 when it was noticed in human. In 2002, less than 1,000 people died from coronavirus. In the average, maybe 750 people died of coronavirus that time, and the less than 40 countries were affected all over the world. And that went away. But 10 years later, 2012, another coronavirus came up um, in the Middle East and uh, it, because it, it was exactly the way the first one was, so, but it, it came up in the Middle East, so it was named Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, M-E-R-S. Okay, that did not actually cause much danger because um, for over a short time it went out and uh, less than those that were infected in the first, during the first time, you know, were affected. Okay, so that went away. That went away in 2012. And then um, everybody uh, was at peace until uh, November last year, 2019, when it was also noticed that in China, some people were falling sick and they were dying of the same kind of ailment. Cough, um, sneezing, throat pains, difficulty in breathing, and then scientists went into it and uh, it was discovered that it's coronavirus again. But this time, coronavirus has um, readjusted itself. Uh, it, has, it, it comes in a new form, but of course it is coronavirus. If you see human being, you know it's human being. Even if human being, if that human being is having four upper limbs, you will know that this is human being. You will know it's not monkey. So it's coronavirus, but it's a new form of coronavirus. So this new form of coronavirus till now has made the whole world to stand still. God is delivering us. The purpose of this talk is to emphasize some few points to you. Number one is that coronavirus is a virus. Ordinarily, if your immune system is strong enough and there is no comorbidity, there is no other ailment that is present, you are likely to overcome coronavirus. Okay? Because our immune system is strong enough to fight this virus. 
But in a situation where you fall in the extremes of ages, then you have the tendencies of being overwhelmed by this ailment. Or if there is a comorbidity, for example, someone who has cardiovascular disease or diabetes or other serious ailments, if coronavirus comes in, then there can be a problem. The threat that is posed by coronavirus to everybody in the world is so much that there is panic everywhere. Let us reduce this panic. Let us reduce it. The truth of the matter is that this panic will not help anybody. But action will help us. Let us do the needful. Let us do the needful. What is the needful? The needful is that, number one, you should cover your nose and mouth when you go out. Don't move close to whoever that does not cover his mouth and nose. Because when that person is talking, the little droplet that comes, that comes out, or when that person sneezes, or when that person coughs, the little droplet that comes out, coronavirus can be there. So, wearing of mask can protect us. And when you wear your mask, don't from time to time put your hand to adjust at the, at the upper part. So I've seen some people when they wear their mask, what they do often is to just adjust. They adjust down, they adjust up, they adjust down. They don't know the purpose of the face mask. Number two, we should maintain a very good hygiene. Wash your hands regularly and or you apply alcohol-based sanitizer frequently. You know, when you go out, you touch different surfaces, you don't know who had passed through that place. You don't know whether the person that passed before you is having COVID-19 and then perhaps he had sneezed or coughed when nobody was there. And uh, this can be on that surface, still alive. When you touch, you don't know, you can take that hand to your mouth or to your nose. So when you apply this sanitizer frequently, you are reducing the risk. Number three, it is important that we maintain social distancing. You see, and uh, the recommended distance between two people is two meters. That is six feet, all right? These three measures is important. Apart from these three, it is important also that you stay safe. Staying safe means that if you suggest you are going to a place that will be crowded, avoid it. Just stay safe. Choose to stay safe. What are the symptoms of uh, coronavirus? To be honest with you, COVID-19 can come with no symptoms. I have seen somebody who was positive and there was no symptoms at all. That means a lot of people that you see that are hale and hearty can be positive. But just because they have not been tested, they may not know. Okay? It is not only people who wear sick faces that are sick. When symptoms are present, it can mimic the symptoms that you find in fever that is caused by malaria. Okay, the body temperature, headache, body pains. Okay, and there can be throat pain. The symptoms of common cold can be present. There can be catar. There can be cough. The symptoms of pneumonia can be present. There can be chest pain. There can be difficulty in breathing in severe cases. Some people have said that they lost their sense of smell and taste. And in some people, it has been recorded that they have um, GIT problems like uh, stooling, abdominal pain. So, the point is, by just the symptoms, you cannot identify who is coronavirus positive. You can only suspect. Oh, well, you see, uh, 
some people still ask questions. They say that uh, is coronavirus real? Those values, where do they get it from? I tell you, coronavirus disease is real. It has claimed the life of valuable people. It has killed a lot of people. I tell you, coronavirus disease is very, very real. But what I want you to do is to protect yourself. Practice universal precautions. Okay? Practice universal precautions. Nobody is a superhuman being. I want you to know that your body system, your immune system can overcome this virus. In situations where you find yourself sick, don't keep it to yourself. Open up. Go to the hospital. Let doctor assess you. Some people say that ah, I, I cannot expose myself. If I go there now, they will say that it's coronavirus. No, they don't kill people there. They treat people and they want people to be fine. If you have symptoms that is suggestive of this disease, please be free to open up, get tested and then get treated till now. There is still no specific drugs that have been discovered to cure coronavirus disease. But nonetheless, it is manageable. It is treatable. Let us stop the panic. Let us be strong in our heart. Let us maintain universal precautions. If you find this video good, please kindly subscribe, comment, like, and share with others. Till the next time we meet again on this channel, I want you to stay safe. I want you to stay healthy. My name is Dr. Amani Yadewe. I love you. Thank you.